Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So I'm just making this video because I get a lot of questions about mixing vampire crab species or colors. So uh, people get a weird sort of a impression that you can mix any of the colors and have uh, no problems. Uh, this is probably made worse because some retailers sell things like party mixes or party packs for vampire crabs which have different uh, colors all mixed through them. Generally they do this with all male crabs and this is just a disaster waiting to happen. So if you do see these, just avoid the seller entirely because they have no idea what they're doing and it's just bad practice. So essentially, mixing vampire crab colors or any other subspecies uh, is a bad idea. Um, normally these crabs can be aggressive uh, in their own color variants and species. Uh, the males will fight each other, sometimes killing each other, and the males will also sometimes uh, kill the females when they're trying to mate so this aggression is there already and if you're to increase the uh, aggression by adding different subspecies or colors uh, you're just gonna have even more problems so while it is possible in some rare ca occasions to uh, create a hybrid by breeding the two together uh, it is pretty risky because these crabs are expensive and you've got a good chance that they will die so Unless you're really, really into it and that's what you're trying to create, I would avoid mixing them at all costs. So apart from the main issue of aggression, the other thing is if you mix the crabs and you think you're going to see them wandering around your tank being all colorful, uh, that is not going to happen. So apart from wanting to fight and kill each other over territory and females, uh, the weaker crabs will end up hiding the entire time. So if you have six crabs, all different colors, whichever crab ends up being the dominant out of the group, that crab will be the one to spend all his time wandering around. All the other crabs will be hiding and you'll never see them. And occasionally when they do try to come out to venture to the water, to mold their shells or to get food, the dominant crab will track them down and probably destroy them. So it's another reason to try and avoid mixing them, or not to try and avoid, but just avoid mixing them. So the rule of thumb as well is to avoid any aggression. Uh, so don't mix the colors obviously and try to keep your uh, male to female ratio at two females per one crab. So this works across all the different subspecies, um, all the color variants. So one male, two females, this uh, lowers the aggression rates and allows the uh, females to get a break so the uh, male crab isn't constantly following them around. The other really important thing to uh, avoid aggression is to have a lot of hiding spots, uh, soft substrate so they can burrow, and a lot of line of sight barriers, so anything that will allow the crabs to get away from anything that's chasing them. Uh, climbing space is really recommended, so a lot of the female crabs I've seen will generally climb up high to avoid the males that patrol the bottom area, so they'll climb up into any of the branches or logs or rocks just to avoid the males. Males will follow sometimes, but generally they'll just keep patrolling the bottom area and leave the females alone. So that's basically it. Um, it's just a short video. Uh, there's really not much to explain to be honest. Yeah, it's just as simple as don't mix the crab species and you won't have any problems. As much as the temptation is there to have a colorful tank with different types, it's just not worth the trouble and it's just bad practice. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you know anybody who's mixing crabs or selling crabs in mixed bunches, try to convince them otherwise because it's just a silly idea. See you next time.